We got to do it. We got to slam. We Christopher K.B. Brown is a poet from Arkansas who came to Philadelphia to go to grad school. Um, my name is Christopher K.P. Brown. I've uh, been doing poetry since I was 14. I'm 32 years, 32 years old now. Um, been in Philly since 2008. Growing up in Arkansas, Christopher's ninth grade teacher suggested that he enter into essay and poetry contests in which he won continuously. He makes a living off of winning poetry slams, so every time he hits the stage, it's always crucial and motivating for him to not only win for bragging rights, but to be able to pay bills and put food on the table. Tonight, Chris will be performing a poem by Saul Williams called Adamus Rocks. My first poem is uh, called Amethyst Rock. Amethyst Rock is from this movie called Slam. Chris is a little nervous, but excited to hit the stage. I'm super nervous. You can't tell right now, but I'm super nervous. That's part of my nervousness. Because on stage, like, you people can't, it's not good for you to tell either. <laughs> Y'all ready for a poetry slam? Let me hear you say yeah. 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 For your first poet of the first round, Christopher K.P. Brown. This is a poem titled Amethyst Rock by Saul Williams. Bars, our stars and stripes using blood splatter banners as nationalist kites, but I control the wind. That's why they call it the Hulk. I am Horus, son of Isis, son of Osiris, worshiped as Jesus resurrected like Lazarus. After he recited his poem, he felt like he did well, but it's all up to the judges. Judges, one, two, three. Um, scores are interesting and. I would hope for more of a nine in the area, more nines, but 8.5 is like cool. I'm cool with that. I'm okay with that. 8.5 is the lowest. The highest I had was 9.8. The judges showed their scores, and he was okay with their judgment. After Chris performed, he decides to sit in the crowd to size up his competition and wait for the ending results of the first round. He is quite eager to know if he did good enough to enter into round two. After all the poets performed and the scores were tallied up, it did not go into Chris's favor. Our top four poets from round one are Lindo Yes, yeah. Yeah. Cassidy, yeah. Roderick, Woo. and Chris Ward. Even though Chris didn't run first round, he's still going to stick around to see which of the four poets who were picked to go into the second round comes out on top. After round two was over, the scores were tallied up once again, and the poet that won was actually a friend of Chris named Cassidy. The person who won, I'm friends with, we're in a group together, is Cassidy. Cassidy's dope, and uh, Cassidy's UPenn, and so, yeah, I'm good, like, chilling. I heard some good poetry. And uh, I'm going to be here next time, though, you know what I mean? So I'll be competing next time, and I'm good. <laughs> Even though Chris didn't win tonight, he will still prevail on to the days to come, to which he gets to express himself through his poetry and be able to make a living for himself.